Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Three Minutes of Tehillim. We are going, I'm going to dedicate the words I'm going to say in the Zuchos of Rufu Shalema for Binyamin Ber Ben Chana Shev Rufu Shalema. So we're up to Perak uh, Nun Aleph, Psalm 51. David Amelech writes this Perak. We're told after admitting that he sinned with Batsheva, and Nasan Hanavi has a whole conversation with him in. In uh, Shmuel Bey's Perek Yud Bey's. Now, the Gemara tells us anyone who says that David Melech was a sinner, Eino Elatoa, is the one who is only making a mistake. However, who says David Melech sinned? David Melech himself. He said, I can just point out a few of these psukim. He says, uh, Forgive me, Hashem, in your loving kindness, because of the, my, my sins. And another one, because I know that I'm always sinning, that I've always sinned against you. So obviously, we have to understand what that Gemara means, but David Amalek, on a very basic level, felt he made a mistake. Now, there's an interesting emphasis in this parak Nun Aleph, on Simcha. Just a, a few psukim I'll read for you. Uh, Let me hear rejoicing and happiness. And the bones that you have crushed are now... In, are going to be re, in rejoice. Hashiva li sason yishecha. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Beruach nediva sis mecheni. And the Holy Spirit which left me should now uh, ba- bring back and sustain me. So what is this emphasis on simcha after after sinning? So I believe in the Rabbeinu Yonah and Shari Tshuva, we could find an answer to this. The Rabbeinu Yonah says that part and parcel of the process of teshuva is actually tefillah, is prayer. And he has different things one's supposed to daven for. But one of the things that he, spoke, that he, he says one should daven for is in Shar al Perak Membeis, his spalul od al haratzun yos bratzon Hashem yisparach bo kikodem achet. That we ask Hashem, we pray after the teshuva process, even after we've reached, so to speak, forgiveness. That's what we're talking about. David Amel already was forgiven by Nasr and Nabi telling him Hashem forgave you. He's still davening. What's he davening about? Because he wants to return to the relationship he had with Hashem. Kodim the chet, before the chet. And that's a certain level of, I believe, simcha, because there's a certain carefree uh, joy of life that you have before things are complicated, before we feel guilty, before we have messed things up. And we want to, uh, you know, even though we've made right in a relationship, for example, there are just things, there's baggage, there's, there's just stuff that, that's there after we, even if once we've rectified it, and that's what David Amalek is still continuing to dive in, even after Teshuvah is accomplished, we can't look over the piece of Simcha, of feeling that we are back where we were before, Kodem Lechet, and that's what I believe is emphasized in the second part of this, of this uh, parak, Nunalif, that we want Hashem to re- uh, receive uh, David Amalek, and we're then using his tefillah for ourselves as well, that we want to receive that, that the joy of what it was uh, before the sin.